going to want to stick around for this. We're going to be shipping out 50 plus items. I think 52 so far, but I keep getting new orders as we, uh, as I'm sitting here pulling stuff. So I pulled all the 50 items. We're going to ship these out. Hopefully the goal is we can do this quickly and you also learn some new brands to you. Every time I buy and sell and do this business, I'm always finding new brands to me and I've been doing it for eight years, going on nine years actually. So I'm always finding new brands. So I hope I can educate you on some new brands too. But without further ado, I'm going to get the chat going. If you have any questions going along, oh, Kayway, what are you doing in here? All right, you're going to watch this later on. I know there's going to be a lot of you watching this later on. I know you follow Kayway. Kayway is uh, a good buddy, and I know he's going to be doing live tonight or today with Nashville Flipper. So that's going to be cool. But Kayway, I know you as well have a ton of things to ship out 50 plus orders. So we're just going to hang. We're going to do some orders. We're going to ship some stuff, weird stuff, whatever. We'll start out with this weird thing. This is more about design than it is um, actually the brands. I did look up the brand. They were all over the place. But these uh, wool Fair Isle sweaters do really well. If you find these in Polo Ralph Lauren, they usually go for like 80 bucks minimum. Um, but you call these like Nordic or Fair Isle sweaters. They're, let's see, Scotland. Um, but this is a men's. A lot of them are women's, but if you can find men's, they always bring more money. This sold for $23.99. Ooh, big money. Just kidding. Oh, super chat. K-Way with the super chat. Thank you. I appreciate you. K-Way with the super chat. I, I really don't know with this restream how that looks, but I saw it. I owe you, cutie. When are we going to get back together? we got to teach the peeps. we got to teach the peeps. All right. So that sold for a measly 23 bucks, but guess what? I paid 3 dollars because that's how much vests are where I live. And I want you guys to pay attention to a trend with all these sales. There's going to be a trend with everything I sell here today. I will tell you there are three items that we're not going to pack up together. One was a return that I haven't even got out of my car yet. So if it sells once, it will sell twice. This time it sold the same day of me relisting it. And a couple items down here, all right, I have to ship FedEx because they're going to um, they're going to the authentication center because these are Nikes. So anyway, next item's a banger. Tap that button, everybody. Okay. Tap. Uh, tap me. Tap me. Tap me. Oh, my gosh. I have so much stuff. All right. Next item, South Pole Jeans. Speaking of K-Way, the brand that doesn't sell, right? South Pole Jeans. You want to look for the really baggy ones. So. If you don't know, they still sell South Pole, everybody, but they sell them uh, at, I saw them sold at Burlington, but they're all like a tapered or slim fit. You want to look for the really baggy skater jeans. That's what's selling right now. Jinkos, baggy South Pole jeans, Empire, corduroys like I sold last week if you were watching, but bought these for $7.99, sold for $69.99 just for the K of the way. All right. And that's going out in the Tyvex. Uh, let's see. For, oh my gosh. First one everywhere. I hope everyone had good sales. Leave leave your com in the comments how your sales were during this week. I know there's a lot of new resellers in 2023. Um, and every week's new, like Thanksgiving and Black Friday and then Cyber Monday's coming up. Um, I want to know how your sales were. I've seen some mixed people online. But um I ran, I ran some sales on my store. And the funny thing is those sales I ran, I really didn't sell much of those items, shoes and women's clothing. Cause I'm trying to get rid of all my women's stuff. I'm doing whatnot on just women's stuff. I have a show a week from today, by the way, and I have a $15 free code, my link, but uh, yeah, I did women's sales and men's sale or shoe sales. I didn't really have that many items that sold in those categories. So Ian, so $7.99 into $69.99. Uh, by the way, K-Way, one of your favorites. If you stay late enough, which we're going to be here a long time, we have um, flannel line jeans that are going to go in a padded flat rate. That's, that's going to be real fun. If you guys know, you know. My stuff is falling so much. All right, back to business. L.L. Bean flannel. This one's like a check, black and white check. It's just a simple 
lightweight flannel. It's not one of the super thick ones, but it's not also not thin, but it will go out ground. I sell these for $19.99 plus ship. Same thing with these uh, as they do with the Polar Ref Lauren shirts where they sold a ton this weekend. I have a lot of these listed. I've sold a lot of these, so I can list these in like a minute, take pictures and list them. Um, all I have to do is just change the size, plug in the pictures, and then I always have them usually as like multicolored because they always are. Um, they're always multicolored, so I don't even have to change the color of them when it comes to these. This will to Pamela. Pam. Pam. Name that movie. Are you getting any snow up here? Paul, we're not, but it is raining and it's cold. And I think I saw this week, we might, we're, Indianapolis is literally on the line always, always on the line of like rain, freezing rain, snow. So it, it's, we're, I don't know, like over the years, I don't know, global warming, but we used to get good snow back in the day. I don't know. Anyways, that sold for $19.99 and bought it for four bucks. People ask me, how do I know how much stuff costs? My thrift stores have the same prices for everything. Five bucks for shirts, um, $7.99 $7 for jeans, and uh, $7.99 for blazers, $9.99 for suits. I did not sell any suits this time, but just so you know, that's how much it costs, and people buy or pay for shipping. I do not pay for shipping. This brand right here is going to be a new brand to you, I bet. You might have seen it before. Step Brothers, Shelby, you're so good. You know it. Meatloaf, bring my meatloaf. God, I don't know, she, don't know what she's doing up there. Um, it's raining down here, also. Yeah, it's. I, I hope it. I hope it doesn't turn uh, to freezing rain. But let me know if you've heard of this brand, Descendant of Thieves. This was actually one of my very first videos I did on on TikTok, Facebook, you all of them when I started doing social media in. 2023, like in March, this was in one of my very first videos, which means I bought it in March and I just listed it because it was a winter item. I'm seasonal. So guess what? I listed it. It sold within the same week. It sold for $89.99. $7.99 is what I paid for it. So Descendant of Thieves, good brand to be on the lookout for, I guess, but it sold for uh, $89.99. So that's a $80 minus eBay fees. I'm in sunny Florida. Connie, I want to be where you are. I want to be where the people are. All right. This sold and it's going out priority as well. What is the best way you do comps? I always have a problem with that. And how do you look up uh, the RN number? So I actually don't look up RN numbers. That could take a long time. I will tell you on a few items you can. Um, but I, I'm going to tell you right now, I have a really good video, Connie. Um, it's on YouTube, which you're on right now. And it's on uh, videos for beginners. Maybe you'll just have to go to my page and look at it, but I have a good video. It will literally take you into your phone and it will help you look up comps of the items. You'll look up comps and sell through rate. So I basically go into the phone with you and help you look. And most people think it's been helpful. But that Descendant of Thieves is going to Pablo. Pablo, I'm not even going to say his last. I'm not going to say that. It's probably not appropriate. All right. Next item was, what? Didn't I say a movie? Didn't I say say that movie? What was another one? Um, okay. This is the this is the theme, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a clue right now. So Silver Tab, this is a brand to keep your eye out for. Silver Tab jeans, they remade them. Obviously, these are new now. Um, because they were hot, they started remaking them again. Why not marketing for um, Levi's, start making them again and make money off of them because they're hot. So be careful because there are newer ones of these. You want to look for the made in the USA. If they have tags right here, if you're finding them used, they're, they're the newer ones. They're not made in the USA. But these are newer. These were retail arbitrage at Ross last mm, in the spring. So I've had these since spring. And for the record, I, I sold two over the weekend, $39.99, and I paid, I think, uh, fifth, right around $15 for these. So right around $15 for these, $39.99, and MJ Designs. MJ Designs. All right. Getting these. Um, how will you wrap that coat uh, to keep it presentable? Have you ever dealt with buyer issues with damage? Mike, really good question. So like with these jeans, 
see how I, I folded them and I rolled them kind of, I also want to keep the tag so they don't, the tag doesn't bend. That's very important when you're selling new items. Um, but with blazers, I fold them in half. I'll show you again. I have another one. I'll show you later, but I, I fold them in half buttons in and I roll them and I put them in the bag. And I tell people often, I have never had a review, a negative review about an item coming in bad condition as far as clothing. When it comes to electronics and stuff, a lot of the reason why I don't let do electronics is there are people out there. I'm like, there's no way that broke. And people are like, it broke. Whatever. But um, as far as clothing, you see how I do it. Um, you, there are a lot of different ways you can make it look much better, present more. takes more time to do that. This is how I do it. I never had a complaint. Negative reviews, all positive reviews. You can look at my eBay page. Um, I have one negative review that's about to get um, taken down. It's almost been a year and just, and I try to, I sent the wrong pair of pants to a guy. They were blue instead of beige. And so I said, I'm so sorry, keep the pants are the same size and I'll refund you the money. So I refunded the money, let him keep his pants, did all the things that I could do to try to get that feedback removed. And, uh, it went cold cased on me. I, I never heard back from him and that feedback is still there. So that's that, but no, Never had, never had anything that's uh, damaged. So I'll keep showing you how I'm packing. That's why we're here. I'm showing you what I'm packing. I'm showing you what I sold. This is a North Face, and this is going to be one of those thermal balls. So they kind of look like they're down, but you already probably know what these are. North Face thermal ball. Um, this is actually going to go out. I'm pretty sure. Okay, priority, priority flat or padded envelope. So this sold for actually fifty-eight dollars. I took a best offer. I tell you what, this weekend I was selling so, so much. I was just taking offers left and right. So what I'll do, you see how I packed it? I just rolled it up like that. When you roll things, they don't get they don't get creases in them. So I like to roll my items up. Roll it up, and then I'm gonna put it in this padded flat rate envelope. Um, and I'll show you actually what I'm what I'm getting all my envelopes out of right now. So it's kind of like my little thing. Uh wow, awesome. Uh, caught you live, Linda. I'm glad you're here. I know it's a really weird live. It's the middle of the day on a Sunday, but I mean, I think we've all are wore out, right? We've all been with family. Hopefully we've all been eating and we're just ready to relax. And hopefully uh, you can learn some stuff from watching this. If you're watching this later, cool too. Padded flat rate envelope, free from the postal service. This is what my shipping station looks like, or as far as my, um, packing materials. So I have all my padded flat rate here. I have all my Tyvex envelope here and I have my poly mailers here, which are found on my link tree. Um, and then I have bigger poly mailers back here. I have boxes down here. So I just grab what I need right out of this and everything's on a table right here in front of me. So that's the behind the scenes. Yeah. You're welcome for being helpful. Of course. I love it. I love it. I love it. What's up, Brant? Uh, Jennifer, what's up? Jen meets world. See, the, the differences of, of names, you actually have your actual name on here. What's up, Jim Meets World? Okay, this is this is exciting. This is fun. This is one of those things like, how did you know or whatever, whatever. You just have to be, I'm just telling you, you just, it comes with experience and you have to be a hustler, okay? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one to boast. I'm just saying you have to. So these jackets right here, I went to the Dick's Warehouse big sale they were having. Their outerwear was 25% off, not 50 the already clearance price. So Dick's Warehouse is already clearance store. It's an overflow store. All their shorts were 75% off, which I stocked up $1,500 worth like a week or two ago. Then I kept calling. I kept calling. Supposed to be the Black Friday sale. Kept calling. Guess what? They started at Wednesday. So guess who was over there Wednesday getting these camo, super unique Patagonia fleece Sherpa jackets for $60? Me. And I got all of them but the small. So they only had five. I got five of them. I underpriced everyone. So I paid 60. I looked online. Everyone had them listed for like 180, 200, 170. I listed mine for 134.99. I've sold three out of the five in three days. So I'm just saying that I called early, kept my ear to the ground. And I found something loud and obscure. So these are going to actually pay for all the shorts that I bought that were Patagonia and Carhartt. So we're going to fold this up nicely. 
um, and put this in a shoebox. So we're going to put that in a shoebox, but we're also going to put it in a bag because we don't want that to get messy. Happy Sunday, Angela. Happy Sunday. So that was my Black Friday deal. I got Black Friday deals on Wednesday before Black Friday. It's that way now. So if you guys know me by now, I, I listen to a lot of economics and, and things like that. And I paid attention to all these, all these retail stores are trying to get as much as they can. That's why they're starting these sales early. I forget the name of it, but it's something to do with drag out, like a drag out sale where they start it early, even though it's a Black Friday sale. Most people know that, especially if you're savvy. Let's see, I'm just going to put it in here. It might not look beautiful, but they'll get it and it's going to pop out. It'll be fine. So that's what it's going to look like. This is great. Very helpful. You're welcome, Connie. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. So this is a retail arbitrage item. So like I said, I bought five of these jackets and two uh, Patagonia chinchilla or whatever they are um, vests. And I think selling these three, if I sell one more of these jackets, it will have paid for everything. Um, and I have a whole tote full of shorts that I'll list in the spring and summer. So there's that one. And this is going in a shoe box, which is free from the postal service. Uh, just put the, you know, put this in there which I could actually send those out in one of my bigger poly mailers. I might try that with the next one. This was a little tight. So what do you guys think? You know what else I'm going to do? I've gotten these. I've had these for months on eBay. So any big item that sells for quite a bit, I'm going to put this on that item. So I'm going to put a thank you note on or thank you sticker from eBay on there. I also need to get rid of those. So how nice is that? And it's green for the holidays. Um, I went to Costco and got myself some really nice Orvis sweaters for $16.96. There you go, Mario. Are they are for the personal or are they for the resale? Personal or the resale? Or I like to get really substantial Orvis. I have a really cool Orvis piece that I sold off. You guys will see that later. This brand, I knew it. Uh, I knew it to be like a streetwear brand. I've seen it before in videos or something. But best squid or whatever. I just noticed. I know this little dude right here. It's like a streetwear brand. I knew to pick it up um, for four. And these are four ninety nine at my Goodwills, and it sold for thirty nine ninety two. Auto posture sale. This is going out. Sorry, I have this. I have my little Lego car on top of my label so they don't fall off. Uh, but right now, all right. That's going in an envelope. Um, for me to wear. Yes, good. That's the best, I'm telling you. Like, doing this job is not just for um, reselling, obviously. Made money or saved money is made money. So my whole wardrobe is basically thrifted, especially my nice stuff, like button-up shirts, J. Crew shirts, flannels, all that. And then my wife always steals my Lululemon. I don't know how that happens, um, but it does. But... She doesn't have to go buy it. So yes, we get to go. We get to go search the stores for Orvis stuff like that and sell it, or buy it, or sell it, and keep it. All of the above. Keep it, then sell it. That's what you want to do. Keep it, then sell it. Adidas Match Play or um, 365 pants. I think these are called 365. I just put golf pants, um, but they are my favorite all the way around. It's been a while since we've talked about this, but in the summer, I sell shorts in pants like this crazy under armor nike adidas anything with that stretchy waistband sells really well so look for that when you're looking for golf pants or shorts 4.99 into 22.22 hi mar mar i always call you mar gonzalez what's up mar how's everyone's sunday going i hope i'm not taken away i know some nfl games have started if you're watching nfl put it on mute watch the play Listen and educate yourself. That's what I'm doing. All right. So like that brand just before that sweatshirt, that was a good brand to be on the lookout for. Um, next item is a women's cool, which for the record, again, I'm going through some women's clothing because I did a women's sale. I'm going to be running all my women's clothing on whatnot because I don't like listing women's clothing. So I decided I'm going to put it all over on whatnot. 
and let people get good deals on it. My goal is to pick stuff up that I know is worth money, women's Lululemon, women's Athleta, women's cool, whatever, throw it on whatnot, and people can get it for what they get it for. I don't care if they get it for under $10. I just don't want to leave it behind. I feel like I'm leaving money on the table. So this is a cool women's jacket. It looks like it's down, but it's not. Has your little cool logo right there. As the young people say, hit. Never knew about that until 2023. $44.99. I paid $5.99 for this because it's a lightweight jacket. So you see how I will roll it up it, like this. And this is going to go out in a Tyvex envelope. But i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually put this in one of my poly mailers, which is, this is 10 cents. I know that sounds like, why are you complaining? I'm not. I mean, I sold it for 44, whatever. So that's why I'm putting it in this. But that way I keep it a little bit extra safe. I know you're going to be like, what? But you didn't do that with some things. Why are you doing it with this? It's just because it's a little more expensive item. And it's got that like really thin nylon down feel material. I don't want it to get cut if someone opens it or something. But that's going out to Jennifer. Um, just Saints. Oh, are the Saints playing or is that the name of that brand? Are the Saints playing, Angela? I like the Saints. Is that what, you, is that what you're talking about? For the record, I'm, I'm, I went to Purdue University, which Drew Brees went to, which he played for the Saints and won a Super Bowl. Beat the Colts, which I love the Colts because I live in Indianapolis. So that was a good, that was a fine Super Bowl because Drew Brees beat us. I'm happy for the Saints. And I love New Orleans very much. Been there a ton of times. Oh, back to the show. This is an Eddie Bauer Travex. We just talked about this on my last live. These sell for me. Eddie Bauer Travex. This is down. So you see how it says EB700. Anytime you see 700 or a number on these jackets, that means they're down filled. That's like the down filling. The higher number, the better. Um, this sold for $29.99 to a repeat buyer. So I bet it was the same person who bought the last one last week. So you're seeing me roll this up like that. That's how I do these. And then this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it in one of these, then put it in this Tyvex. Um, yes, you are from New Orleans. Are you, are you from New Orleans, Angela? Do you live in New Orleans? Because if you do, that'll give me something great to talk about. Because I love New Orleans. Pre, I've been there many times pre and post Katrina. So even before. So I remember it before. And then I went after. Nuts. All right. $29.99. I paid $3.99 for that. That that um vest is actually in one of my videos for the record, too. That was last, that's one of my first videos too that I put out last March. Um, Robert. Robert got that one. We're going through these guys. I don't know how many were down. 10 out of 50. <laughs> uh, let's see. Next one. Uh, live in California from New Orleans. Okay. Well, that's a good move. California is a lot less humid than New Orleans, but I love New Orleans. I love Cafe Du Mont. Love Cafe Du Mont. I love the food, the Creole. I love it all. Polar Ralph Lauren. You guys know the plant, the deal with this. Um, sell these. Call it the Surf's Up Method. Kway coined that for the record. I did not. And basically, I list these in a minute. Take pictures and list them within a minute. $18.99 is what, it, what the buyer paid. Not promoted listings. I promote those at 4%. They, they found that organically. So it sold for $18.99 plus shipping. I'll make a good $10, bucks, 12 bucks on that after it's all said and done. Make sure it's going to the right person. Raul, it is. Hold on, Mike. Mm. Mm. By the way, last night I was watching something about, you know, these are so bad for you because they have aspartame and everything. You know what is bad for you? Sugar. If I got the ones with sugar, that is proven. Sugar is proven not to be as good or worse. Right? Makes you gain weight, calories, all that stuff. L.O. Bean. Don't debate me. I don't care. We're over it. Um. L.L. Bean, this is a made in the USA. See, I'll say, you probably can't see it, but it says made in the USA. That's key. If you find L.L. Bean made in the USA, you put that in the title. And then you put in the item description or the specifics made in the USA. That sold for $19.99 again. It's a little bit more dingy than that last one. But you see how I did that last one? All I did, change the size and uh, put the uh, 
the pictures in and then sell it. This takes two seconds for me to list these. I list them cheap, $19.99. Most people probably list these at like $22. I list them cheap and sell them quick. Get that money flowing because that's how I do it. All right. That's going to go out ground advantage. Um, always wanted to ask, do you always charge for shipping? Mike, I do. I always charge for shipping. So buyer pays shipping on everything I do. The only thing buyer buyers don't pay shipping on it, which I don't talk about very often, or is if I sell something really nice, like um, a watch or an antique that's like over a thousand dollars or something. I'll definitely like at that level, people expect free shipping and you know insurance and all that sort of stuff. But when it comes to reselling clothing and shoes, buyer pays shipping on everything. Um, and always ask questions. If you guys have questions later on, I get alerted and I can go back to these. Um, I say these on YouTube and on Facebook. I can go back to these and rewatch or uh, answer your questions. Surprises took this long to sell. This is actually from last season. So this is from last uh, January or February or December. I list. I remember listing it around that time. Polo Ralph Lauren with this cool like. I guess it's that fair aisle look like we talked about earlier, but it's a fleece. So it's not, it's a fleece. It's that polyester feeling, but I know that the doesn't look real well in this lighting, but that sold for $39.70, which is an auto posture sale. I bought it for $4.99. Um, so it eventually sells, right? It'll eventually sell. All right. Men's Prana short sleeves worth it. Ooh, good question. All right. Uh, okay. It was 50 sales this weekend or since Thanksgiving. So yeah. So this is 50 sales since Thanksgiving. So this is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then so far today. So yes, so not, not just, for, not just Saturday and Sunday or not just yesterday and a little bit today. This is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I did pack stuff and ship stuff Wednesday. Um, that sold for 39 bucks. Let me talk about that Prana. All right. Make sure it's going to David. I always double check guys. You know that I say that often, but I have my phone right here. I always double check, make sure it's going to the right person. That's just my process. So Prana, sh Prana short sleeve shirts. If I could pick them up for a dollar or two, I would, but those are, for some reason, they just aren't great sellers for me. I don't know why even the nylon, the cotton, Prana button-up shirts, they don't sell well. The pants that are nylon, men's or women's pants, Prana, they always sell for over $30. I can't keep them in stock uh, if, I, if I sell them for 30 bucks or more. But the, the button-ups don't do real well. So they cost $5 here for me, $4.99 like I talked about earlier. And it's hard for me to get over $16 bucks for them. So and it's it would be hard for me to want to get those because I don't find them that often to list them for $14.99 plus ship and just sell them quickly. So a lot of them I pass up, but that could be an item you you lot. If you find like five of them in a row, you could lot those up. And if they're five bucks a piece, price them at 10 a piece, which means five, five for 50. Um, and that'd be a good way to just double your money. I know that was long-winded, but yeah. Uh, good afternoon. What's up, love? Uh, still nice sales for three and a half days. Yeah, Jennifer, they are, This I, I'll tell you this. Um, I'm used to it, right? It's, I don't really keep track. I just, I just grind, but, um, at least like keep track. Like I don't look at a spreadsheet every single day and look at like, what are my sales today? I just grind and pay attention to how much I ship every day. And, um, this is my best payout. This is going to be my best payout this week that I've had since probably like August, I'd say, or maybe even July. So yeah, this week was really, really good sales, but also expensive sales. Um, probably shouldn't have bought this. I stay away from women's golf stuff does not sell that well. So I know it has a little logo there, but this is new with tags, Nike women's golf. I sold it for 1466 auto posture sale, 1466. I am happy that sold. So that's almost three shirts I can buy with that money. And who knows? They could be CC Filson shirts. Surfs, what's up, Blended Oasis? Welcome to the house. We're just doing some packing, long packing. You guys might have to take some break, get some more d'oeuvres. Yeah, I love stuff that, so that was probably a mistake, right? I'm not going to pick that up anymore. I didn't lose money on it, 
But the mistakes for me are things that last a year that I buy now because I've been doing it for long enough. I know it sells. That took too long. I'm not picking those up anymore. New with tags, women's golf stuff just does not sell well for me. Um, I've not had good experience. So there's that. Um, I enjoy your videos so much. Thank you, love. I appreciate it. I want to put as much content out there as for you guys as possible. But again, it's a one man show. So trying to figure out all the balance. I'm new to social media this year as well. Um, hey, when you list items like Ralph Lauren or LL Bean in the high teens, do you also list bet offers accepted? No. So whenever I list these items, so here's two that sold. Um, they lo they lotted them up. They're size small, by the way, which which I like to get in Polo Ralph Lauren's. But um, I don't do best offer. I do 4% promoter listing on eBay and I price them cheap and they sell. So no best offer on those. I don't really have any best offers that anything that are like under 25 bucks, I don't have best offer on. Or items that I know I priced right, I don't put best offer on. Like BKE jeans, I'll price them between $27.99 and $32.99 depending on the size. And I won't take best offers on those because I know they'll sell. Same thing with uh, like Adida or um, Under Armour match play pants and shorts. You know, I sell those for $23.99. I don't take best offer because they sell for that every time. Um, this is a carbon for cobalt. You guys know the brand. I'm going to talk about it often. Brand that keeps on selling. Ever since I started reselling clothing, this brand has sold and it keeps selling. $22.22. And this thing is like, I priced it lower because it's just not a substantial piece. It's kind of dingier looking or whatever. I mean, it's not bad condition. It just doesn't look great. Um, but it sold for $22.22. Again, I paid $5 for it. I actually bought like, might have put it in a video, bought like three or four of these together, all carbon for cobalt, not just that, that style. It's going out ground. Thanks. Great to know. Yeah. Ask any questions, guys. No question is a bad question. No question is a bad. Have I... Have I sold anything else expensive? I need to use these freaking thank you notes. Um, so here's one strand from the label printer. Next item. I actually don't buy this brand very often anymore because it doesn't sell as well as it used to. All Saints. All Saints does not sell as well as it used to, but it still sells well. This, is, uh, this has the hit. I always like to look for the little logo on the front hit logo whatever sold for $24.99 wool $24.99 um it really should have gone out ground now that I feel how light it is but a lot of you guys know because I've done this so long I pretty much know how much stuff weighs I just add a little bit on everything and I know what to put them in um but I thought this being a sweater it should probably go um in a flat rate which is what it's going in. But now that I feel it, it's probably like 14 or 15 ounces. It could have gone ground, but someone will get it quicker than um, ground would have gotten it to them. Plus this time of year, ground can take forever. So just FYI, you might get people being like, where's my package? It will get to you. So I've never had packages not get to people. And I say that to people often. Like I promise like it will get to you. Just wait. But it says it's in this city and I'm not even close. It will find its way to you. It will find its way to you. Um, that is going out to Michael. So, All Saints, hit or miss, friend. That's what it is. What's up, Doug? Thanks for coming in. All right. We're just we're we're just packing stuff up. Here with my monster. Again, any questions, ask them. If you're re-watching later, ask them. Don't mind it. After all. I went to college and got a degree to be a teacher. I taught for 13 years, and now this is what I'm doing, which you don't need a degree for. They don't teach you that. You don't have to go to college. Um, Peter Millar, Summer Comfort Polo, really happy to sell this right now, this time of year, because, again, as I say, more than likely these types of things sit until spring and summer. So whenever I get a summer item that's sold in the winter, it excites me. Twenty-six sixty-one. that's an auto posture sale. Janelle, yes. What's up? Let me answer that question. The question is, make sure it's going to Ben. So again, I know I'm doing it all down here, but going out in poly mailer. Um, again, I like getting these. This brand right here is really good brand. Not all poly mailers are made equal. I wish I made these, but I don't. Um, I buy them off Amazon. They're my link tree. 
But it's going out to Ben. And the question is, do you accept returns on all items? I do. So, but I have buyer pay returns. So almost all my returns are, I didn't like the way it fit or whatever. So the buyer is responsible for that return. But yesterday, I'll tell you a quick story where I had a jacket. Uh, it was blue um, in uh, outdoor research. It's an outdoor research blue jacket. The guy got it and said, it's not the color that looked like it in the pictures. So it was not as described, which means I have to pay return shipping. But in the title, it said blue. In the description, it said blue. And the pictures look blue to me. And the guy said, I thought it was gray by looking at the pictures. So there's always those ones that are like, you punk. Like, I put blue. I put blue in two different places. That's your fault. But I'm in the business of making the buyer happy. And I don't want negative feedback. So I'm letting him return it. I'll cover that. Shipping, that shirt. I still won't lose money on that that coat because it's an outdoor research. It's worth good money. Da 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 da. But yes, I take I take returns on everything because eBay will make you return it more than likely um, if the buyer's not happy. This is a barber. Um, actually, this is a barber. Just a men's lightweight quilted vest, full zip quilted vest. Now, when you look for this brand barber, you're gonna see a lot of these vests coming out. They do okay with the quilted. What you really want to find by this brand are the wax jackets. So the jackets, you'll feel them. They feel really um, stiff and weird. Those are what you want, the waxed jackets. This sold for $55. It took a best offer on it. I paid $3.99 for this. It's going out padded flat rate. So it's got these zippers. You see how I folded it? I rolled it up just like just everything, rolled it up. And here we go. We're going to pack it in this and ship it out. Make sure it's going to the right person. So um, what I say I paid for that? $3.99 or $5.99? $5.99. Um, and that's going to Judy. To Judy. And Judy lives in Connecticut. There are a lot of barber outlets over there, by the way, all on the East Coast. All right, here we go. This is a men's three-in-one jacket. Uh, people asked me the other day, no, this is a youth large. So a youth large, yep, youth large um, jacket that is three-in-one. So you see a lot of you guys know this. You're going to be like, I already know this, Brad, your surfs. But um, it has a jacket within the jacket. So you can take this inner jacket out and it can be a lightweight fleece. Or you can wear it as a raincoat, or you can put them both together and be super warm and go sledding, sledding down the hill. This is going out in a Tyvex envelope. So again, I'm just going to roll it up, stuff it in, stuff it in. I might put a piece of tape on this because it's kind of, uh, it's going to be a tight fit. It's going to be a tight fit. But yeah, three in one. Three in one, if you can get them cheap enough in Columbia and just a about most brands that are like decent brands, not Walmart brands, they can do okay. Three in one jackets because they literally can be your spring, your fall, and your winter jacket. You got your rain, you got your lightweight fleece, and you got your heavy snow jacket. Get this one back. Sorry for the loud noise. Going to Steve. Steve in Nevada. See? It gets hot and cold in Vegas. Um, next item, Vineyard Vines. This is a flannel. A lot of people don't pick up Vineyard Vines anymore. And this one actually doesn't say anywhere like, oh, I'm wearing Vineyard Vines. There's a little logo at the bottom that's even covered up by the button. Um, but this one has that double chest pocket. It's Vineyard Vines. So, it's, you know, it's a well-made brand and it's um, a flannel. So, bought that. $4.99 and I sold that for $21.99 to a repeat buyer. So appreciate you for watching this. Just kidding. I don't I don't think anyone that watches these buy my things. Uh, we're all usually resellers and learning. Okay. So this one is going out. By the way, it's just Facebook and YouTube, guys. There's no TikTok today. Because if I did TikTok, we'd be going until midnight with all the with the with everybody all right that's going out to randy going out to randy this one's good 
Retail Arbitrage. Never, ever heard of this brand, but it totally looks skater to me. Really wide leg and element, but look at this. Skater. They had one pair at Marshalls. Um, one pair at Marshalls. They're made by, I don't even know who they're made by, by Don Barley Element Skateboards. I know Element, but they were 10 bucks on clearance. There was only one pair. I looked them up online. There weren't a whole lot listed or sold, but there were a couple. I'm like, 10 bucks, I'm going to get that. Sold it for 45 Took a best offer at 45 and I bought that not too long ago. That's going out padded flat rate. I do most of my jeans padded flat rate. Wax jackets have a smell to them. Had to take it, return on it. I uh, can resell part of smelling sometimes. Yeah. Um, they do. They can have a smell to them. I, I don't know if it's like, was it? Lori, do those start out? I know they're English. Are those like equestrian? Do barbers start out as like an equestrian jacket? Because that could be part of it. Yeah. I don't know. But I feel like most people like get them kind of know. But yeah, if they stink or something, just depends. If they're five bucks and you can sell for 150 I'd be tempted just to take it to the dry cleaner and let them figure it out for like $15. I've done that before. Not with those, but with other items. So yeah, that was a good good retail arbitrage. 45 bucks, 10 into 45. I'm really enjoying retail arbitrage these days. Really enjoying it. Women's Patagonia long down jacket. Again, I'm going to be putting all my women's stuff on my whatnot show. So if you're into women's stuff for cheap, I'm literally starting everything at a dollar and sudden death everything. Um, I have my next show in a week from today, 12, 3, 1, 2, 3 at 8 p.m. Eastern time. But this is a Patagonia long women's down jacket. It's kind of the older, it's a small, kind of the older tag. Um, and it doesn't have a Patagonia logo. If it had that Patagonia patch right there, I think it would have done a lot more, brought a lot more money. doesn't say Patagonia anywhere on it. So I priced it kind of cheaper, $35.99. Pretty good deal for someone out there, I think. Um, and that's going to go in a Tyvek. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to put it in one of these and throw it in Tyvex. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put it in one of these and then put it in. Um, Mary, I have a bunch of cute girl Christmas type dresses. The brands are like Walmart, etc. Got them from a storage unit auction. Is it worth my time to list them? Um, definitely not individually, I would say. But if you wanted to, you could list them as a lot. But I don't know. If you don't have anything to list, you can list them as a lot. Take pictures of them. Don't get super detailed. Just say, you know, 20 of them this size. Take a couple pictures of like all of them and price them cheap. Then also maybe put that on like Facebook Marketplace, like local pickup only. That's what I would do. Um, and try and just try that. Um, I would probably just try to get rid of those on Facebook Marketplace locally. Uh, but I, you never know. I could be wrong. Those could bring good money, even though they're Walmart. I mean, you're getting decent it's storage units. So you probably are getting, you probably bought them for like change. Um, so yeah, that's what I would do. All right. So it's going out. And a Tyvex. See, I did that. I'm going to keep it nice because it's down. I don't want it blowing up on me. It's in like poofing out. But that's what I would do. Um, Dallas. Dallas. Going out. Ooh, that's getting big. I'm going to have lots of bags. I'm going to look like Santa Claus tomorrow at the Postal Service office. Um, skipping this one. So I sold a Lacoste. Lacoste, you probably can't see it. Lacoste sweatshirt. I've had it for a while. It's upstairs in the closet. I forgot to snag that. <coughs> Next item. I should say items. So this person bought two Polo Ralph Lauren, 1953, 1979. Um, don't know why they, I don't know why if it was promoted, if he got them that way or got one promoted, then bought the other one organically. I'm not sure. But they're both a size small. So both a size small. Polo Ralph Lauren, 20 bucks a piece. So I paid $5 a piece. These took me two minutes to list. So for two minutes, I made about $25. And they're going to the same buyer. So I just refunded. He said, can I buy them both? Uh, what deal? I said, I can combine shipping. So I'm putting them in ground. 
and they're just over a pound. And so I'll just refund him the difference in price. That's all I ever do with those. Um, let's see. And I don't know how to pronounce his name, but they're going to Los Angeles. So there we go. L.A. on its way. L.A. on its way. So I love, you guys know, Polo Ralph, I even have another one down here. Um, Polo Ralph Lauren shirts. Okay. Um, uh, Lori, no lots of Hunter's Outdoors workwear. Use them. Um, you know lots of, oh, for Lori, for the for the uh, wax jackets. A lot of Hunter Outdoor uh, workers wear them. Sometimes called tin cloth. Can be dry cleaned. Can't be dry cleaned, but to buy wax and recent with the wax. Re recoat with the wax yeah so then there you go so you can't take them to the dry cleaners so you'd have to re-wax them if they smell i don't know if i'd be into that but i don't know but yeah i think they're waxed because they're like water resistant right they're like water resistant waterproof um yeah try both mary if you want i mean if you i know you probably have like nothing into them if you bought them from a storage unit but um do all your packages get shipped through usps yes there's only one package that is not getting shipped through USPS. Um, I, it is, or it they are these wedge Nike shoes. You can see they have a wedge in them, so they're kind of like a platform. So they kind of are like this inside. So they're like a wedge Nikes, and these have to go to the authentication center, and they have to go through FedEx. So very rarely do I sell Nike shoes that have to go through the authentication center, and those have to go through FedEx. All these other 50 items, I do USPS, um, calculated shipping through a eBay, and I have buyer pay shipping. So to answer your question, yes. Now, these next shoes, they didn't reach a threshold that had to go through the authentication center. And I just did a video on these recently. I bought these for $14.99. I said they were SBs. Everyone in the chat said they weren't, and they're not. But I sold them. So Nike, they look like skateboarding shoes because they're usually a little bit thicker, but they're not. They're just uh, dunks, I think. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Nikes. And they sold for, I took a best offer of 50 bucks. Paid $14.99. And they're going to Christy. Christy, I listed them as whatever. See, on the inside of these, someone said RN SKU numbers. Nike, they have a number you can look at. Most of you guys know that. It's six digits followed by a dash, then three digits. And um, that's what I did it. I put that in eBay, and then it came out to be like Sequoia 2021, um, low toasties, whatever. Okay, I'll just sell similar and use that. So these are going to go in a shoebox, of course. And I'm going to put them in a bag so they... Are kind of nice, and I also have some packing material from my wife's Amazon. Hello from the east coast of Canada. What's up, Scott in Canada? What was I watching yesterday about some, some stuff in Canada? I forget. I forget. But what's up? Canada is definitely actually a fun fact. I'm going to Canada next July, July 2024. Going to Canada or June, June or July 2024, but not on the east coast. I need to go to the East Coast, Nova Scotia, right? Um, but we're going to Vancouver area. And so I'm going to put one of these. That's all it's going to take is just one of those little guys. So $14.99 and a $50, and those sold in less than a month. That's what I'd like to do. I want to see stuff sell in less than a month. That's my goal. So um, also, like, I'm also curious. Um, Come to Prince Edward Island. I've heard of Prince Edward Island. Isn't that the island? Isn't that the island that was close to where the tight where the people go out from the Titanic? Like where that one accident happened? That's like the closest spot from the Titanic. I think maybe not. I try to pay attention to that stuff. All right, make sure it's going to the right person. It is. No, it's not. No, it is not. It is going to Christy. That's why I double check everything. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Now it's going to the right person. Christy. Look at me. Um, so who is that going to? Oh, that Polo Ralph Lauren I was just talking about. Another Polo Ralph Lauren. So this one sold for 1979. 1979. So that's how much that sold for. Uh, 
I guess that that was a um, via promotional sale, four percent through eBay because I listed them at nineteen ninety nine or whatever. I think so. So that sold, and that one is going to Jesse. Going to Jesse. So I double check. I know some people print as they do this. They print as they do this. It's not how I do it. All right, new with tags, Polo Ralph Lauren. Did not retail arbitrage this. This was $5.99 at a thrift store. New with tags, performance. So performance, new with tags. I actually listed this pretty cheap. Sometimes when I buy stuff cheap, I'm like, I want to get rid of it pretty quick. New with tags, this time of year, people give gifts. Sold it for $39.99. It's just a little fleece vest. And it is going out um, in the Tyvex envelope. And I'm going to put a thank you note. Uh, thing on it. Yep. Next to Nova Scotia. White sand beaches, lobster, and potatoes. Mmm. Uh, Anne of Green Gables was based here. Uh, yes. I want to come visit. So, love lobster. Have some good family friends that have a place in Maine, but it's an island. There's no plumbing, no electric, or whatever. And it's in Maine, and they just eat lobster all the time. So, I said I'm going to put a thank you note on this one, right? Let's do that. Thank you. Again, I don't do this with many. I, I have these. I've had a whole bunch of them for like a year now. I just need to put them on. Ooh, another one of these. If you've been on here for the last like hour, you know, how long have we been on here for? Ooh, 50 minutes, not a full hour. Another one of these retail arbitrage. If you're just now watching this, Rewind this later or go back and watch it later. I'll tell you about all this at a story. But here's another one of these that sold. I think I'm going to try it in a um, bag. I might double bag the bag. I might double bag the bag. Yeah, that will be a lot nicer to go in a bag. So let's try that. So I'm going to put this in one of my large poly mailer bags. I get these off the eBay because I have a store and I get that discount um, quarterly. So I don't have a link to these, my link tree. But, yeah, this is way better in a bag, in that box. Much better. Um, and then I will fold it over, and I will also give it a nice tape, and I will give it a nice sticker, a thank you card. So there it is in that bag. I like that better. I'm wondering if I should double bag it. Again, I sold, I paid $60 for those on Wednesday. Sold for $134. Uh, this is number two of three that I sold, um, and I got five total. So there that is. Deciding if I want to double bag it. I think I'm going to. It's a $135 jacket. I would hate for this bag to get ripped open or something. I don't do this very often, so don't be like, oh, he does. This is how he does it all the time. I don't. I don't. Just, you saw me literally think about it. So I thought about it. Better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> Better double, double bag it. All right. So we double bag that guy. Now we will put a thank you. We'll do red because it's Christmas time. Or we could do blue. We could put both. Let's do blue and red in case they celebrate Hanukkah. We have our blue on one side and our red on the other. And then we will put the sticker. Fun fact for... The people that are in here. And I see all your little eyes. What's up, Megan? Um, fun fact. Uh, I was raised a Christian or something, whatever. And I don't like talking about religion, politics, all that stuff. But the fact is, my parents put me in the JCC, which is the Jewish Community Center, for, for kindergarten. So I went to the Jewish Community Center and got experience, you know, the Jewish culture and all their holidays and traditions when I was a kindergartner. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool. So sold that. Why am I telling you guys this? I don't know. I'm just trying to be, you know, it's you know, it's Hanukkah and it's Christmas. You know, you gotta cater to everybody. This is an Orbis vintage down jacket. It's not a zip, it's a button jacket. There's the vintage Orbis you want to be looking for. That's the vintage label right there. And it's just a simple lightweight down jacket. It sold for $49.99, and this thing sold in like a day. So I priced it accordingly. I looked at comps, and they were priced about that. And 
my pricing is a little bit cheaper. I probably listed at five or ten dollars cheaper, but it sold. So whatevs. This is also going to go in one of these bags and then in a Tyvex. Because these down jackets, they tend to puff out. I want to keep it tight. I said tight. So Megan, what's up with you? What's up with you? You have good sales over the weekend? Over the week, weekend, extended, vacation, all the above. So normally, so for 13 years, I'd be thinking, ah, oh, this was so nice. But now I have to go back to work tomorrow with the kids. And it's getting, it's just so much, so much work. Nope, not me. I get to keep doing this. Snowed in. Snowed in? Where do you live? Where are you snowed in? The only place I saw it was snowing heavy, I thought was in like uh, the high mountains of like uh, the Rockies. I thought I saw that. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I had to say that about work. Just telling you. Uh, Joy. That's going to Joy. Pat it, or that's going in a priority or a uh, Tyvex envelope. Okay. Next item there. These are what I was talking about earlier. These shoes right here. I sold them. They didn't fit the person. I got them back and I sold them like the day I relisted them. They're still in the back of my car. Sold them for a hundred dollars. They're those Belgium shoes. If you know, you know. Um, Oklahoma snowed in in Oklahoma. Is that weather coming towards us? I think it might be. Uh oh. Well, sorry about that. that's not fun. But I hope you're warm and cozy. Um, Levi's again silver tab. I love finding silver tab, especially at this I found at Ross. Um, bought a whole bunch of these and they've been slowly selling denim shirts, snap buttons that are metal do well, denim shirts that are sn snap button and that are metal do well. Sold for $30. I paid $12.99, $15.99, somewhere right around in there off the look, but right around in there. I don't pay anything more than that for these unless there's something special, but snowed in in Oklahoma in November. That's got to be like a record, some sort of record. If you have that much snow, that's got to be some sort of record. All right, 30 bucks. Going to Mary. Mary! Mary. My favorite movie, Dumb and Dumber, Mary. All right, next item, uh, AG. AG jeans. I put bone white. I don't know about you guys, but whenever there's like – I find a pair of white pants that aren't white, white. I put bone white in there. Um, it just gives me that, like, I think people have a better idea of the color white. I don't know if you guys like ivory white, but it's like that bone white. These are the Nomad. Nomad, you don't find these very often. They are a modern slim, but I sold these for $30.24. That was an auto posture sale, too. So $30.24 auto posture sale. These I know are going to go out in padded flat rate. Had a flat rate envelope. Um, again, I paid $7.99 for jeans, and then buyer will pay shipping. So I'll probably make like $15, $16, $17, something like that off those. Next one. Braden. It's going out to Braden. Going out to Braden. All right, let's see. Let's get some, let's get some goodies. That hopefully was a new one to you. Hopefully this too. So Carhartt FR flame retardant. So that stands, that stands for flame retardant, but a lot of people say flame resistant. So you can put both in the description. Um, but these are just like khaki um, blue pants. So this is something that like uh, welders would wear this or like workers in a factory or whatever. So sparks won't burn their clothes. They're just fire retardant. They sold for $29.99. I paid $4.99 for them. Paid four ninety nine. How are these going out? Hmm. Okay. That's how they're going out. They're gonna go out ground advantage. So pay, they paid cheap. What is auto posher, Angela? Great question. Auto posher is my assistant. It's my four hundred dollar assistant that I only pay thirty five dollars a month for. So auto posher um, is. I have it in my link. You can look it up online. And you get a discount code if you do search up. Um, but what it does is, so this item right here, if someone looks at this item, they will get an automatic offer like through Auto Posture's bot. 
So anyone that looks at any of my items or watches into my items, they get automatic offers. I don't ever have to send out offers. Autoposher sends it to them. And I get to decide how much I want to make those offers for and when they get put out. So right now I have my autoposher set out after an item has listed for seven days. On that seventh day, the offers will go out to people who watch the item. And right now I have 7% off. So I've had up to 10% off, 5% off. It just depends how I feel. Um, but right now, 7% off. So sends out all offers on eBay and as a delister, relister. So normally your item keeps the same ID for forever on eBay. And it just, if eBay sees it just get relisted, it just pushes it down in the algorithms with the auto posture right before it, it, it ends, it will take it off and then it relists it with a brand new item ID. So eBay thinks your store is more active because you're listing more, even though it's the same item that is relisted. And that item gets a new ID, so eBay will push it up in the algorithm. I only use it for eBay, but you're paying the same price. It like shares your closet on Poshmark. It does some stuff on Mercari. It does a whole bunch of stuff on different places. You pay one price. But for me, no. I just use it for that. Hello, Kate. What's up? I love when you use the surfboard. Why do I have this to tie? Where is tie? Where is Ty? Mm, mm, mm. So I always look at these. Ty. I wonder if that... Nope. Nope. Okay, well, I'm going to put that one to the side for now. Oh, <laughs> already put the label on it. That's what happens when I talk and do this. It's harder than what you think, guys. Um, what's the average price you sell BKEs for? Um, $27.99 to $32.99. Uh, in fact, I have a couple, couple pair right here that I'm getting ready to put active. I already took pictures and stuff. So because this one is a 27, size 27, which is really small, this one's going to go for $27.99. This is a really good size, 38 long. This one's going to go for $32.99. Buyer pays shipping, and I put them in a padded flat rate envelope. So buyer's going to be all in for around $40. And I try not to get ones that have... Um, I actually don't get any that have foot drag on the bottom of the seam. So the bottom of the seam is in good condition. Next item. Actually, I think we can, I think I printed it off guys. Nicole. Oh no, I didn't. Nicole this. So the next item were these, I'll tell you about, we already talked about them. They sold for 6416 because I ran a sale on shoes and women's items and I paid $20 for them. So $20 into $64. And those wedges always sell quick. I have to ship those later through FedEx. So I'm not shipping those right now. You're welcome, Megan. Um, look, this is the cutest reseller, Ethan. Ethan. Ethan Banks. If you guys don't follow the Ethan Banks, he is the GOAT for reselling shoes. That's all he does. And that's what he does for a living. He has a six-figure business doing shoes, as I do with clothing. So give Ethan Banks a follow. He's one of my good buddies. We work on Fridays uh, live from 9 to like noon usually together and answer questions. All right. Next item, Eddie Bauer, which I don't pick up a lot of Eddie Bauer, but you guys saw earlier, I picked up the Eddie Bauer vest that was down. Here's the Eddie Bauer jacket that's down. You can see what I pick up that's Eddie Bauer, down. $28.99. Yeah, that's pretty cheap for down, but that's what Eddie Bauer brings. So I will pick up down Eddie Bauer for the right price. $5.99. Aw, I know. We're melting, Ethan. We're melting. Um, this one is going to go out, and it's going out ground advantage. But I'm actually going to put it in one of my bigger um, poly mailers. So, again, this is an eBay one that I get with the coupon code because I have a store. I don't have any link for this one. But it's nice to have different size poly mailers around if you're a reseller. Um, I usually don't use different size ones, but it's nice to have, like for this example. Uh, and that's going out to Richard. Richard, I'm going to put a thank you. I'm trying to get rid of these thank you. If you guys are just now joining, what's up, Casey? I'm getting rid of these thank you uh, little notes from eBay. I've had them for forever. Tis the season to be thankful. Might as well get rid of them. All right, next item, Harley Davidson. Harley does not sell like it used to. It still brings money, though. I will still pick it up, especially with the skulls and stuff like that. 
but it just doesn't bring like that really, really good money like it used to on the regular stuff. De leather and all that stuff sells really well. But this sold for $20.89. That was an auto posture sale. And it's going to Jennifer. Jennifer, did you buy this for your husband? Because this is a men's. Just asking. Unless you like oversized. I don't know. But it's going out in a ground. Round. Did I read that right? Um, 50 for the weekend? Um, Kate, so 52 items since Thursday. So 52 items since Thursday is what we're packing here. So... We're, we're doing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then this morning. I um, probably have some sales since we've been on here. We've been on here for an hour and five minutes packing orders. So, Jennifer, don't tell her husband that she got him a Harley shirt for Christmas. Just saying. Another retail arbitrage. I bought these for $29.99, $24.99, something like that. Um, at that Dick's clearance sale, I only found two of them. The comps were good. Um, they're the chinchilla, chinchilla, whatever. And they sold for $54.99. Um, again, I think I'm, if you were watching this earlier with what I've sold so far, I think I have everything paid for and I still have a bucket full of shorts. Probably like 30, I don't know, 30, 50 pair of Patagonia North Face Carhartt shorts, which are all going to be listed, but that that's all paid off and they're all going to be listed in the spring and summer. How is this going out? Oh. Okay, we're going to try to get this into a Tyvex. All right, get it into a Tyvex. You can do it. Uh, that's the weekend. Surf up. Let's go. Okay, all right. Yes, Megan, yes. Um, I can tell you this, guys. It's kind of been a no thrift November for me, for the most part. I've done retail arbitrage stuff, but you haven't been seeing me thrifting a lot because I've been listing a ton. And I'm sorry but I'm going to be continuing to do that for the next couple few weeks. So I think that's why my sales are doing well because I'm just listing so much, like more than 15 item a day, items a day for the most part, um, for sure. Definitely this week I plan to list 20 more items per day, but that's all for $54.99. So listing items will get you sales. And then also um, it's that time of year. You can see I sold a lot of stuff new with tags. Just that time of year. People are in the spending mood, whether they're buying it for the personal or for people. I can tell you, people are always saying like, oh, people are buying stuff for presents. I'm going to be honest with you all. Shelby, you're in here. I'm going to be honest with you. There are many times this time of year I buy stuff for myself. I'm just saying. You're in the spending mood. You see deals out there. You're like, I'm buying, I want to buy some stuff for myself. So... Thank you very much. That was, again, reach to arbitrage. On to the next item. Another one. It's the same place. This is the third third one that we're packing from this weekend. This exact jacket. I have two left. Um, again, super loud. Camo. New with tags. I paid 60 bucks a piece for these, and I sold them for 134 I put a post on my Instagram and Facebook. So if you're not following me over there, you miss out on it. Um, yes. What are you, are you laughing? Are you laughing at me, Shelby? Anyways, I won't get into this one because this is the third one. If you're watching this, you're gonna be like, please don't talk about that again. We've already heard about it, but we also know I'm not going to box it because I boxed the first one. It was kind of tough to put in the box, the shoe box. Then we spent some time deciding, should I double bag it or just keep it in one bag, which we decided we were going to double bag it. So with this third one, we know right away we're going to put it in one bag like this, the eBay poly mailer, and then I'm going to put it in another one. Don't have to think about it. That's 15 seconds saved of thinking about double bagging. That's time. That's that's money. That's money. Um, But no, for real, I have two more of those to sell, and I hopefully will sell those quickly. Um, when I put People were upset at me. People weren't upset at me, but some people in the post, um, when I posted the video on these, they said, like, you, you're you undercutting, you're hurting resellers because you're pricing those too cheap. That's my business model. I bought them $60 a piece. I'm literally, I sold them for double what I paid, more than double what I paid, and I sold them in three days. I'm not in the business to have these sit for a year. 
I'm in the business of selling these quickly. Are we going Hanukkah or are we going Christmas? We're going, we're gonna go Christmas on these. Ah, uh, fine. We'll do we'll do Christmas and we'll do Hanukkah. We'll do both. We'll do both. One on one side, one for the other. Because I am thankful to that person. All right. So there's a couple of retail arbitrage. Next one, REI. I don't pass up on every piece of REI. Sometimes I buy it. This is a down vest. Bought this one super cheap, $5.99. Sold for $24.50. That's an auto posture sale, and it's going to go out ground. It's way under a pound. See how I folded it? Right? That looks so nice. Doesn't that look clean? I wish everything in my closet was like sitting like that. White. Just kidding. Not. All right. Let's see. 20, $24.50. $24.50. So REI, what do I pick up from REI? Um, men's nylon pants that are convertible. If they're five bucks, I usually pick those up and sell them for around 20. Um, or any like substantial REI piece, like a down jacket or whatever. Um, $24.50. That one's not getting a thank you one. I just wasn't feeling it. This one will. Blazer. So this is a blazer. It's 100% cashmere, but it's made by Nordstrom. So John Nordstrom is the Nordstrom brand. It's their line. And it has that special cashmere blend. So you hear about Laurel Piani often. This is just another uh, fabric maker, but it's pure cashmere. And it's got like a herringbone. Um, it's got like a brown herringbone to it. Herringbone pattern. If you don't know what that is, it looks like that. And so you see how my blazers, I fold them in, the buttons in, and then I'll give them a nice roll, a nice roll. So they'll look like that. So when they take them out, they will not be creased. And that is going out in a padded flat rate envelope. And they're getting a thank you sticker. Hey, Shelby. Casey says, hey, Shelby. All right. Go. You guys probably see a lot of the top of my head during this video, but padded flat rate um, keeps it protected. And going out to another Richard. Richard's buying a lot. I'll be I'll I will be rated G. Richard's buying a lot. We are gonna put a thank you sticker on this. St. Patrick's Day. He's getting an early St. Patrick's Day present. All right, next one. Um, Lululemon again. I'm not putting any Lululemon online anymore. It's just going on my whatnot. These are Lululemon pants, uh, whatever. They even smell nice. Weird. Um, I hope I don't get it. I've gotten returns before for stuff smelling nice. But these are going out $24.40 auto posture sale. And uh, they're going out ground. And one of my polymelas. So anything women's, I'm not listening anymore. Rarely. Rarely. So everything that I've found is just going to go in my whatnot for women's clothing. Paulette. Paulette got that one. Uh, next item. I'm going through these pretty quick. This is this is a bolo. So if you stuck around this far in the live or in the video later on, congratulations. Because this is a bolo. Planet by Lauren G. Found this for the first time in the spring. And it's a good brand. Planet by Lauren G. Just one of those things where you're buying a whole bunch of other really nice women's clothing. So you know that Rex probably, it's got brands that you've never heard of. It's like, I'm going to look those up because they look quality. It's a quality brand. I take a best offer of $40 on this. I don't know what it's called. That's why I'm not selling women's clothing anymore. I called it a knit, ruched, tank top, small 4.8. That's why I don't like this. Ridiculous. No. Pull a shirt. Crew neck sweatshirt. Sweater. Jeans. Button up. I don't know women's clothing. So, this is going overseas. So, they're going to see that we're so thankful over here in America. We'll put a thank you sticker on there and put their little... Make sure it's going to the right person. Yep. Going to Illinois. The little place that uh, sends out all this stuff. And that's that. Let's let's cut this off. This has been a long, another long one. Um, you guys are talking. That's cute. 
talking to each other is so cute. All right, next item. I listed this. I'm really surprised it sold this quick. I, I almost was like, uh, why did I even pick that up? It's a Vineyard Vines. I don't like picking them up usually unless they have a hit right here or their performance or like that flannel from earlier. But this one had that red, white, and blue little collar thing. You know, it might might be good. It sold in a day. I listed it. I listed it yesterday or like the day before, and it sold in a day. So it sold for $18.99. It's what I price these for. Roll it up, put it in my envelope. Uh, but yeah, $18.99 for that vineyard vines. Cool. I really didn't want to list that right now because I have heavier things to list, like jeans and flannels. But it was right there. I had it with some other Polar Ralph Lauren's and stuff, and I can list those quick. I might as well do it, get it out of the way. I did. That's something I would list year round, though. I would list that one year round. Let's see. It's going to John. Thank you, John. Also made a mistake, guys. I'm, I'm just now bringing it up. So if you stayed in this video long enough, you're going to know that the mistake I made. So before I talk about these UGG crochet boots that I got from the Benz, price these, price these at $25 Goodwill stores. I'll get them at the Benz for two. So... I had my auto posture relist delist, which I didn't realize. I had it set to increase the price 10% every time it relists an item. So I was going through some of my items. I'm like, why is that so high? That's probably why it's not selling. I went to my auto posture and realized I accidentally did that. So make sure you, you put the right marks on auto posture. That was not, not smart of me. Not smart of me. So now I'm slowly going through bring down the price. I thought about like doing a 10% off now for all the D-list and relist, but I think some things have been on there long enough. So again, bought these at the bins for probably $2 for the pair. They sold for $22. When I buy stuff like that and there are a whole bunch out there on the market, I'm going to price them as lower than everyone else and sell them. So two into 22. If it were an item that there's not many out there, I'll expect to get what they deserve. But these, I think see, people like these for what I priced them at. Again, Uggs used to be very, very, very expensive. You get a lot of money for them, but they've been making them so long now and they're not as in style as they used to be. So they don't sell as well or for as much money. That one's going in the shoebox out the door. You know what? They only spent $22 on that, but they're going to thank you, Sticker. They're going to thank you, Sticker. Damien, thank you. Appreciate it. Detroit. Detroit. Thank you, Sticker, on that one. We'll put it right there on the back. Like that. My gosh. This pile back here is... Woo! Um, next, Ariat Jeans. Ariat Jeans sell really well for me. A lot of times you'll find the M5 or M4. These are the M4 rebar. I actually was excited to find these when I opened up a box because I just sold a pair of them recently. So I knew all I'd have to do is go to, go to my sold uh, sold recently or sold similar or whatever. And and I, these sold really quick too. So $26.99 for these Ariats. I priced them a little bit cheaper because of size. They were size 38 by 34. The last ones I sold, I think I sold for a little bit more than that. I think for around 32. So I probably see similar to BKE jeans. This is going out. No. No way. No way. I sent them out to Dwayne Ground. So these are going out ground. I don't know why I put those in ground and not padded flat rate. doesn't matter. It's probably cheaper for Dwayne. But I usually always do those padded flat rate. Tips on shipping shoes. Um, thanks for coming in, by the way. Uh, tips on shipping shoes. Super easy. I'll show you real quick. So I don't know if you just hopped in, but the way I like to ship shoes. So there's that. I'm actually going to give it a piece of tape. That's why I don't like sending these ground, even though it can be cheaper for people. It's just really, really tight. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but yeah, it's going to Dwayne. All right. Let me show you what I ship shoes in. So these shoe boxes are free from USPS. So I have a video on it, but you simply just make an account on USPS.com. It doesn't cost you any money. 
just your address or whatever, and you can have stuff shipped to your house for free. So as long as you ship the shoes priority, you can use this box. You just have to put in the dimensions and you have to put in the weight, which is usually two to three pounds for shoes, and you can ship them in this box. So this is a perfect box. It's free. Um, the box is free, so you don't have to go buy a box for a couple bucks as long as you sh ship it priority. And I have buyer's pay shipping, so I don't ever have to worry about um, how much stuff costs to ship. So that's that's a good way to ship shoes. This one, Hoosiers. I mean, I wish they had a million of these just because I live in Indiana and I know how big a fan's Hoosiers are. So I bought these from Burlington. I think I bought them for $14.99 each. I scooped up every single one I found. Indiana Hoosiers. I mean, people love IU. It's like Kentucky. Like, these will sell for forever. I think I only got like six or eight. But this sold for $51.08. And guess what? It's basketball season. So you know these are going to start uh, selling right now pretty quickly. Um, I'll put a thank you note on that one in red because it's IU. Even though I went to Purdue and we're rivals, it's okay. I'm cool with it. I'll put a thank you sticker on here for them. Um, when your item reposts under auto posture, what do you do on your promotions on items? Mine's going to zero. Can you set it? Yeah, you can go to, you can set it through your eBay as um, um, like bulk edit and do um, promotions on everything. If you want to do promotions on everything, you can go to your bulk edit or whatever and do promotions on everything. Um, there's a way to do that. I can't do it through show you right here but you can't there's a way to do that if you want to keep the promotions um but i only i the way i do it i only do promotions on those polo ralph lauren shirts and that's it so it's easy for me to do that um and i do my promotions through auto posture really i just do the they're not promotions but they're the automatic offers some people turn that off um i have that on so it's going to carry in huntington indiana how about it who would have thought who would have thought? Uh, ooh, this thing. I just listed this too. This is what I'm talking about. I keep all this stuff for this time of year. I list that it sells super quick. So Carhartt, really thick, like Sherpa lined. If you ever want to know what Carhartt it is, because you get items, you're like, oh, how am I going to find what it is? Carhartt's like one of the easiest. There's a number right there. Oh, gosh, it's bad. I can't barely see it. There's a number right there. You just type that number in right there. If it doesn't work on eBay, type it in on Google, and you'll find the exact Carhartt item. So this Carhartt right here is just a button-up. It's a shacket. That's what it is. Everyone's calling these shackets, right? It's like a jacket shirt that's thick. It's got the pocket right here. Sold for 47 bucks within like – I took a best offer, 47 bucks within like a day. Again, this time of year, I'm in the mood to sell, not keep. So that is going out priority, and that's going to go out in one of these. And I have one already taped up. So it's going to go in a shoebox. So you don't even have to use shoeboxes just for shoes. You can use them for other items too. As long as you're sending it out priority, you're good to go. Um, but Texas Chick, I hope that helps. Hope that helps you um, with that. There is a way around it. You just have to do bulk. Do bulk. All right. So this is going to go. I'm going to put it in this bag, and now I'm going to stick it in that shoebox. So just put it in the dimensions again, and that's going priority and the weight, and you can ship it in these shoeboxes. The boxes will be delivered for free. In fact, if I could show you – actually, I'll post it. I'll post it on Facebook today, um, maybe my stories or something. And it will be on YouTube as well. No, it won't be on YouTube. It'll be on Facebook and Instagram. But in here, I have all my boxes and everything ready. You're going to throw up if you saw how many boxes of stuff I have. I stack up in the fall. It's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. All right. So there's the Carhartt going out. Going out. And that's Clayton. Clayton Bigsby. Name that. Name that one. Clayton Bigsby. All right. It's a show. It's a show. Name that show. We're going to put a thank you note on that one too. Put a thank you on that one. Getting rid of those thank yous. Every time I look at that pile, I'm like, oh, that's going to be like four loads in the post office. By the way, I do go to the post office. I have a P.O. box there, so I get my returns there. And I also, it's right next to my daughter's daycare. 
So I drop off at daycare, go to the post office. I like to deliver my packages. I like to go to my PO box. So I go to the post office. Another pair of these silver tabs, new with tags. Bought these at the end of last season, which was like um, last February or March or April, somewhere in there. Bought a whole bunch, and here you go. Two sold this weekend. So I fold them like that. Again, I'll make sure the tags, the tags are in there and they're flat. I don't want to make, I don't want to bend those tags. $39.99 for these. And they're going padded flat rate. Because that's how you usually send jeans. That's how I send jeans. Ooh, I got a, I got a good piece right here. Too bad it's not colorful. If it were colorful, we are talking some big money. What do you think that, what do you think it's going to be? What do you think it's going to be? All right, so there that is going out. All right, is it the next item? It is. So here we go. Look at that. Cable knit Kooji lookalike. Kooji lookalike. It's not Kooji. This is actually Croft and Barrow. Barrow. You know that brand that you see that they still make now? This is an older one. Kooji lookalike. Still sold for $60. So... This thing still sold for 60 bucks. And how is this going out? This is going out in a Tyvex envelope. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. But yeah, 60 bucks. Again, I paid five. Uh, I actually remember picking this up. I either posted it, put it in a video. I don't remember. I remember picking this up not too long ago. But um, it's like a Kuji. And actually in the title, I put... Um, I put Kuji style. So I put Kuji style. I think people think you can't do that. I put Kuji style. So when people type in Kuji, they'll type that in. And it will say Kuji style. But I do have it as cropped and barrel on my listing. Item title ID. Title ID. Oh, come on. That's why I was saying, uh oh. Get in there. Got it. Tyvex envelope, we got her in. And we're going to give her a piece of tape. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty. I think we have one. No, we have a few. Okay, so that is $60. Bought it for five. Those cable knits, doesn't matter what brand it is, they bring good money. So if you see a cable knit sweater like that, five, ten bucks, you pick it up. I don't care what the company it is. Tundra. That, that brand, whatever. Uh, Polo Ralph Lauren, men's. I know that it's really hard to see. Watch when I turn this off. I'll look like Bart Simpson, but look at the color. You can see it much better, right? So Polo Ralph Lauren pants. Polo Ralph Lauren pants. And they sold for um, $27.10. $27.10 on these. And again, corduroy pants sell really well this time of year. I fold them up like that. These are going out priority, and that's how it is. I, uh, I did that, but nothing came. Um, what'd you do? What did I say? Shoot. I already forget what I said, but nothing came. Brant, what'd you do? I had no idea about the cable knit. Thanks for the tip. You're welcome, Sherry. Yeah, those cable knits are great um any of them any of them so here's here's a kooji i mean obviously you want to find the kooji kind but any of the cable nets that look like kooji people on the outside they can't see the tag it looks like a kooji so they people don't know um but brent let me answer that i want to answer your question so here we go I love selling corduroys this time of year. That's going out to Ron. Nope, it's going out to Berlin. What? What do I do with this thing? Oh, that's why. This is going to an APO. Look at this itty bitty label. It still works because they can scan it. But an APO is like a military base. And you have to hit the customs form. And so that's that. I'll put a thank you on the front of that because I appreciate their service, red, white, and blue. So, yeah, that's going to a base APO. You used to have to print off APOs on a different piece of paper. Luckily, now you don't. 
Next item that sold were these fleece lined LL Bean jeans. These sell. I think I sold, I think the last live of us packing, I sold and packed a pair. So these sell super well this time of year. Again, most people I think price them at around $32 plus shipping or $30 plus shipping. I price mine at $27.88 plus shipping because these do not sell during the summer. So I want to make sure these sell. Um, Brent, you said I did that, but nothing came. What, 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 nothing came. All right. What is this going out in? That's the question. Ron flat. All right. Whew. I thought I had these going in a, in a padded flat rate. They're not. Thank goodness. These are going out and just priority. So, um, that is good. I used to ship these in a padded flat rate. I dare you to try it. Remember the other day, if you were on here the other day, it took a good five minutes struggling. The surf setup method went completely out the door because it spent five minutes um, packing that. But now it's going in this priority. Thank you. Next item that sold. Uh, oh my gosh, I had even more items. Okay, sold all. Okay, these Olakai shoes. So these are kind of rough shape, but you can see how they're really worn down on the heel. That heel drag's bad, but these are Olakai's. Um, Olakai, as you know, is one of my favorite brands. I wore this brand. I bought it on my honeymoon in 2005. No, 2000, 2006, geez, 2012. 2012, I think, geez, I don't know, 11 years ago, I bought, I'm in trouble. I bought these, um, not these, but a pair of Olakai's. And they're awesome shoes. We bought them in Hawaii. So really well-made shoes. Now they've blown up. They're everywhere. All right. And a shoebox priority. And I'm going to put these in um, another envelope to put in there. Just because you can put this in like your own poly mailer to put in there. Um, uh, is she talking about boxes for USPS didn't come? It could be. Is that what you're talking about? Print boxes from USPS. Hopefully you're still in here. Um, yeah. If, if you don't order the boxes and stuff like in the fall this time of year, whew, they can take, you might not get until January. They can take a long time. That's why I stock up on boxes in the fall. Sorry for the noise. So there we go. Those did not sell for a whole lot because they weren't in great condition. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Auto posture sale. 20, no, 2205. 2205. I bought them for five bucks. So that's fine. All right. So that is the last item that I. The last item that I actually got ready to go, but we do have two more orders, but I can't ship them out because I don't have enough USB cables on my computer. But I sold a um, cool shirt, Judy Blue jeans, which I'm putting all Judy Blue jeans, my whatnots from now on. And I have an offer on some vintage military pants. Since we're here together, the offer is really low, so I'll come back to that later. But the Judy Blue pants jeans sold for $20.19 and the cool shirt sold for $26.66. So I'll pack those up later tonight. Um, but Casey and everyone else, I appreciate you. Sorry if this was really long and long-winded, but we packed 50 items together. Hopefully you found some new brands to you or something new to you and you learned something new. If not, I like talking and I'm glad you guys stuck around with me while we packed all these items. So appreciate you. Have a really good Sunday. Hope you get a whole bunch of sales. The end of this November and into December. Thank you. Great live. Thanks, Casey. Love you as always. We'll talk soon.